So at some point, if crypto is going to be a legitimate source of payment, they're going to have to, at minimum, be able to match or be faster than Visa speed. What is up everybody? My name is Adam and welcome back to Broke Man Finance. In today's video, we are going to be discussing a very popular crypto and that is Solana. This time last month, Solana was trading around the $70 mark, then through September went on a run to $215. Now, it has since fallen back down for several reasons, but it's still hovering around that $140 mark, which is still, even with the drop, is still a 100% increase from this time in August. The coin of the Solana network is the Sol coin, S-O-L. It is used for transaction fees and used all over the blockchain ecosystem. As many of you may know, I try to break things down and explain it in a way that the average person without a lot of technical knowledge can understand it. Now, if that's something that you can appreciate, then do me a favor and make sure you hit that like button and remember to subscribe. If you have never heard of Solana, it's okay. Don't fret. In this video, we're going to talk about who Solana is exactly, why people are so bullish on it, the little bit of struggle they've had here recently, but I think they're going to be okay. What is next for this top 10 coin? We're going to talk a little bit about price predictions and most importantly, is it a buy or is it not? But first, allow me to hit you with the basics. What is Solana? Solana is a programmable blockchain and one of the fastest programmable blockchains in crypto right now. It's also one of the many coins viewed as potential successors to the Ethereum throne. The management team is legit. This is not some shit coin designed by a 13-year-old in their mom's basement. Co-founder and CEO Anatoly Yakovenko had worked in designing system for semiconductor giant Qualcomm and Dropbox before starting Solana, two incredible companies. He was also joined by two former Qualcomm colleagues, Greg Fitzgerald and Stephen Ackridge. Solana launched on mainnet beta in March 2020 but was started in 2017. They currently have a market cap of $41.5 billion. But why does people feel like Solana can take on the giant Ethereum? Well, because of the speed of the programmable blockchain. It's really, really fast. Programmable blockchains can store tiny pieces of code called smart contracts. These contracts can be programmed to do basically anything regarding payments and agreements that would require a contract and can leave the banks completely out of it sending and receiving payments. You may be asking yourself, isn't that what Ethereum does? Yes, but Ethereum is, the fees can be much more expensive and it's a much slower network. So the value for something like Solana comes from the work being done faster, but cheaper. But how fast exactly? Solana can process 50,000 transactions per second or more. In fact, it says that the number could increase to as much as 700,000 transactions per second as the network grows. To put that into context, Ethereum currently processes things at around 15 to 45 transactions per second. Now, when you think about a mega company like Visa, Visa only processes things at around 24,000 transactions per second. So at some point, if crypto is going to be a legitimate source of payment, they're going to have to, at minimum, be able to match or be faster than Visa speed. Now you can understand why Solana has grown so much in value and popularity over the last year and a half. Solana is both inflationary and deflationary. It's deflationary because for a long time, it's transaction fees, well, they were 100% burned and now they're 50% burned. Meaning, the less of something there is, the more valuable it can become. So whatever that transaction fees, whenever they would burn it, that means that that amount would just go away and there was less Solano to go around. In turn, making it more valuable. It's inflationary because they recently approved an inflation schedule where staking rewards are paying out around 8%, decreasing by 15% year over year and reaching a long-term fixed inflation rate of 1.5% annually. Speaking of staking and deflationary and inflationary, we can really get into the weeds on this. But just, just hear me out for a few more moments and hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense. But if not, I can direct you to videos and other resources where it will make more sense. Solana is a proof of stake network. Sole token holders can earn rewards and help secure the network by staking tokens to one or more validators on Solana's mainnet beta. If that doesn't make sense, but you're interested in earning Solano, even more Solano, just because you own some, sort of like a savings account, 
I suggest you watch some more videos on staking specifically because it's a whole it's a whole other world and discussion. Now I do have a video on staking Cardano and earning ADA and a lot of people that like Solano also like Cardano because there's a lot of similarities there, especially when it comes to staking. So I can, I'll put that video above my head if you're interested because I think if you watch that video, I'm sure there's, there's Solano staking videos out there and I'd be happy to make one. But if you watched my video on staking Cardano, I think the whole staking process will make a little more sense. And while all this sounds great, Solana has had some mishaps lately. For instance, on September 15th, the Solana network went down. Not good. They reported a massive increase in transaction load, which went up to 400,000 transactions per second, and this flooded the transaction processing queue. This, in turn, led to a massive memory consumption among the validators within the network. And as the problem continued to grow, the network validators decided to do a restart of the network. They hit that reset, and it is expected that a new release will be made to address this situation in the future. This obviously led to a lot of bad press and frustration, which ultimately kind of hurt the reputation of Solana. Now, let it be known that Solana is still a very young crypto. They're still in the early stages. Whenever Bitcoin and Ethereum were in their early stages, they had similar issues occur, but they managed to pull through and look at them now. Although frustration was there and that bad press came, I think overall this will make Solana a much stronger network in the future with the ability to handle much higher transaction amounts. Is Solana a buy right now? Well, it depends. Evergrande Group hurt the crypto and stock world recently when everyone found out about their level of debt in China. People were nervous about a Lehman Brothers 2008 occurring and a slight sell-off started in stocks and crypto, but I don't see this being a long-term detriment. I see this as a sell on crypto, although some things haven't dropped as much as others. But I think Solana has dropped enough to be considered corrected and done correcting. I don't see them dropping much more. Could they, could they drop a few more dollars? Absolutely. But I don't see them dropping to, back to that $100 range or under. I think what's going to happen is they've hit a good point of consolidation and they're going to continue to trade sideways for a little while. I know that may not be what a lot of people want to hear, but that's just what I see occurring. Now, could we see another bull run like, like, Cardano hit here recently where they traded sideways for a while, then spiked up considerably? Absolutely. But I don't think right now is a great time to think that your money is going to triple if you buy in right now with Solana. However, I do think if you are looking for a good long-term investment that's going to have outstanding growth over the next several years, Card or not Cardano, well, I like Cardano, but Solana is certainly one of those that you need to pick up. If you're looking for a random coin to go up 5,000% in the next six months. I don't see Solana doing that whatsoever. So yes, to sum it up, Solana is a buy and a great long-term investment. And you're going to see some incredible growth out of this thing over the next decade. Now, again, if you're looking for some kind of shit coin that you're expecting to hit 10,000% increases over the next six months to a year, this isn't it. This isn't for you. There may be some other coins out there with that kind of potential, but this isn't it. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. As always, I hope whatever investment you make, I hope it goes to the moon, you get rich. Hope you stay safe, and we will see you soon.